Now the holidays can really be a time for reflection with the new year coming up. A lot of people sort of think about how they can better themselves yep. or maybe do something a little bit different. Well, tonight, one man's near fatal accident changed his world, and now he's helping lead others down a positive path to get what they want out of life. It's a G thing. G thing brought to you by Northwell, who believes when we raise health, we raise everyone. Northwell, raise health. I made a terrible, terrible decision and made a huge mistake to drive and didn't make it. Steve Emp, a star athlete all his life, a basketball player for the University of Connecticut and former West Point cadet, made a life-changing mistake when he got behind the wheel after a night of drinking with his buddies. And everything changed, you know, at the age of 25 with my accident. I had massive internal bleeding. I had, I broke the majority of my ribs, I broke my back in three places, I blew up both my knees, I had a head injury, but I took my spleen out. But most importantly, I severed my spinal cord. Steve was paralyzed from the waist down. Those are the darkest days of my life. But there was something that was pulling at Steve. What is it about you uh, before the accident? What, what are the qualities that you had that help you reset. I have my parents to thank for that, my family, my community. But he also credits getting out of that dark space to his first experience with aquatherapy. When the water hit my chest and my arms and my face, it was like the most incredible feeling ever, ever. And I'm not a religious person. And if you are, anybody listening, that's beautiful, but personally I'm not. But it's like I was born again. And in that moment, he realized his biggest hurdle was acceptance. If I didn't accept that I was drinking and driving, that I made a mistake, that I made a person, nobody did this to me, I did it myself. If I didn't accept it, I couldn't heal. And that's life right there. We have to accept what's going on in order to get on with life and be successful. And so miraculously, Steve mentally moved on. What bothers you? Nothing, nothing at all bothers me. Life is too short. Always an athlete, he found a new passion in curling. I loved it, and the, the first time I tried it, I fell in love with it, it just lit a fire under me. His passion and skill led him to the Paralympics. Now the journey begins, the water in the pool, the rehab begins, <laughs> quite, a, quite a jump to an Olympian. That's me, you know, give me a challenge, give me something I can do. Steve is now challenging others to take control of their lives. He's not only a Paralympian, a motivational speaker, but has written a self-help book. The name of your book is You Decide D period E period C period I period D period E. I'm yes, a sir. weatherman. Don't tell me I can't spell, big fella. <laughs> not only that, I got a cheat sheet here to make sure I get it right. It's an acronym. The D, determine that a change needs to be made in your life. E, educate yourself. C, create a plan. I, implement that plan. D, don't ever give up and then E, evaluate what you just did. That's my plan, that's what I use many, many times in my life, and the simple people and simple steps around, you can use it too to be successful. Whatever you're having for breakfast, just send it over to me, I wanna get the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and as we round out the year, I had to ask for his final words of wisdom. Take control of your life. You're gonna be successful this year because of what you do. I like that. You're going to be so successful true, right? because of what you do. Yeah, you know, uh, there's a lot of books being written right now about sure. guys like this. And the, the pro prevailing thought is you got to face the problem, mm -hmm. you got to go through the problem, and you got to come out the other side mm -hmm. if you're really going to contribute. Right, right. Any one of those steps that that's missed, you, you can't you can't help the greater good. Yeah, you can't skip them. So he's getting ready for the Paralympics, is that yeah. right? Yeah, he's okay. a Paralympian and... Uh, and we wish him luck, right? That's great, I absolutely, mean, absolutely. Uh, all right, Steve, uh, thank you so much. And uh, this one's for you, big buddy.